Okay chaps, welcome back to the workshop, aka Johnny's spare bedroom. Uh, today we're going to make a start on that CNC machine, that little project that I've got going on. Um, this is the main Y rail, it's a 2040 extrusion, aluminium extrusion. And what we've got to do today is secure these plastic end plates that we've had 3D printed onto the ends of the rails. So that, that's what we're actually doing. If you take a look at the end of the extrusion, you'll see two holes there. They are um, actually the size that we need, which is uh, 4.2 millimeters, which is uh, M5 tapping. So the actual bar comes with that already extruded in. So all we've got to do is tap the ends um, M5, obviously both ends. So the tools we've got are, we've got the four M5 screws, that are going to go through these and uh, screw it on. A couple of files. I've just knocked the sharp edges off these plastic bits because some of them, some areas are quite sharp and uh, a bit jagged. So I've knocked the burrs off and smoothed it up. Uh, we've got a set of M5 taps and the number one tap, um, the first tap there in the tap wrench ready to go. So let's have a go at tapping the holes. I'm going to just stand it on its end. I'm not going to clamp it down or anything. I'll just hold it in, in my hand because it's only uh, it's only very small holes. I'll just give it a little dab of oil into both. This is actually um, just light engineering oil. It's not, it's not actually cutting oil. Um, and so we start. The name of the game is, is to tap the tap down that hole as straight as you can. So obviously... Don't try and tap at an angle, you know, you'll end up uh, breaking the tap off. So just eye it up, that's that's plenty close enough. So just give it a couple of turns, I'm just eyeing it up for straight that way. I'll look this way, it's a tiny bit off, not too bad. That's pretty good. So I'm happy with that, so I'll just wind that in. Just turn the tap back every so often to relieve the swarf. But to be honest... It's not really taking a lot out, really, on a 5mm thread. The actual pins only go in about about 8mm, 8 to 10mm at the most. So uh, I know if I go the full depth of the tap, um, it's going to be well clear. I'll just wind that in. No resistance there at all, really. I'll come out and we'll tap the other one. Like I said, there's no need to clamp this down. Just clean the swarf off a bit. And we'll tap the other one. Move over to the other one. Just eye it up straight. Ish. That's pretty good that way. Or a bit off that way. That's somewhere near. That's somewhere near. Nice and gentle. I'm going to turn back to release the swarf. So we're nearly there. That's it. Happy with that. We'll wind it back out again. And we'll do the other end in exactly the same manner. Turn it round, a little dab of oil in both holes before we start to lubricate it and off we go. It can be a little bit tricky to start off with it being such a small uh, thread it tends to find its own its own centre and its own way in anyway so you won't be a million miles off doing it like this so wind it in all the way that's pretty good we'll come out and do the, the last hole now Try 
bit of square again. A little bit off that way. There we go, that's better. Once I've run this first tap, I'll uh, I'll just put the plug tap in straight away. I'm not going to bother with the second tap. It's not going into a blind hole. Obviously, that hole goes right the way through, so it's not going to interfere with anything. So that's it. The screw will probably go in as it is now. To be fair, but I will run the plug tap down. sizes the, the thread up the, the plug tap stick a little dab of oil on again only a little touch and we'll just run that plug down Yeah, and just relieve it every now and then you can feel it actually tighten up very slightly on the tap but nothing serious now there is Trying to do this as quick as I can, so it doesn't make the video too boring for you. I'm sure I'm sort of uh, teaching most of you how to suck eggs here, really, I suppose. But um, it's just for the benefit of people that have never tapped a hole before, just to show, you know, how easy it is. You don't really need a great deal of skill. good so far and lose. like I say I'm not too bothered about the depth because this, the screws that are going in are any small I'm not going to go down to the full depth of the, the tap anyway blow the crap out have a, a little dab of oil on each one This bottom tap down again. Probably could have just stuck these taps in my drill there and uh, whizzed it down with the drill, to be fair. But I'll show you how to do it properly. He says, so just one more hole remaining, and then we can have a trial fit. Obviously, be careful when you put your, your bottom in tap in, your third tap in, so make sure you do start it off correctly and you're not. Uh, across the thread or do anything silly so but you can actually feel it go in nice and it finds its own way it's beautiful so that's that done we'll just blow the swarf away There's a very slight burr on the end, so I'll just uh, give it a smooth with some emery. Do the same on the other end. Just take that, uh, that burr off. So, that's it. Job done. So now, what we've got to do is fasten these onto there. Could do with a bit more bench space really. I'll just uh, start it off, I won't screw it all the way in. Put the 
other one in. Hopefully the printer's done its job and it's lined up. Looks like it has pretty well to be fair. Right, now we want to get this parallel to the beam itself so I'll just hold that down onto the surface just nip that up I haven't got to go crazy with these obviously it's only holding plastic on so that's the first end let's get this the second end on same thing again just put the first pin in first Threads just to start off. That's okay. Get the last pin in now. Print has come out pretty good. feels a little bit tight. I'll run that tap down again. Probably just a little bit of swarf in the end. Not the easiest thing to work on with it being so long. So I think there's just a bit of swarf there holding us off. Beautiful. It was in, so I'll just square that up level to to base. make sure we're square that's the main thing that we want but we haven't got to over tighten these like I said before I don't want to crush the plastic so that's it job's a good one should stand up on its own legs now which it does no rock in there so I'm pleased with that so okay, that's the end of this video. Um, when you come back, we're actually going to build up the actual sliding part on this Y rail. So uh, it'll start to look look a bit something like then. So uh, hope you've enjoyed this video, uh, lads. If uh, if you are interested in uh, carrying on with the series, just come back and have a look and uh, see what you think. Okay then, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.